Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Christina Koch sets a record, a Tuskegee Airman is promoted to Brigadier General, and B-29 Doc will participate in the Arsenal of Democracy flyover. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. NASA astronaut Christina Koch set the record for the longest single space flight by a woman when she landed back on Earth in Kazakhstan yesterday. Alongside Soyuz Commander Alexander Skortsov of the Roscosmos and Luca Parmitano of ESA. During her journey, Koch spent a total of 328 days in space flight, in which she orbited the Earth 5,248 times, traveling 139 million miles. During her time at the International Space Station, Koch conducted and supported more than 210 investigations during Expeditions 59, 60, and 61, including being a research subject volunteer, giving scientists the opportunity to observe effects of long-duration space flight on a woman. She also was a participant in the Vertebral Strength Investigation, which gave researchers insight into the extent of space flight-induced bone and muscle degradation of the spine and the associated risk for broken vertebrae. This research will help the agency in their plans to return humans to the moon under the Artemis program and prepare for exploration of Mars. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is gonna be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. Slingpilotacademy.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the National Gay Pilots Association. The Abingdon Company will be selling a limited edition of 50 specially designed watches. Each watch is embossed with its individual serial number and features the letters NGPA on the dial, with a movable inner bezel for setting a second time zone. The NGPA's 30th anniversary recognition began yesterday at the 2020 Palm Springs Winter Warm-Up presented by United Airlines. Boeing is retiring the highly recognized Avial brand name. The change is part of the company's plan to integrate and align its businesses under the Boeing brand and systems. Parts, equipment, and supply chain solutions previously sold by Avial will be offered directly by Boeing through its portfolio of aerospace aftermarket supply chain service offerings. Recently disclosed papers filed with the FCC seem to indicate SpaceX is preparing to fly their next-generation Starship vehicle as early as next month. The company is planning on a 12-mile high flight to test basic systems, maneuvering, propulsion, and ability to recover the vehicle safely under power at its liftoff point in Boca Chica, Texas. Boeing has given an F-A-18 a -A new lease on life after delivering the first Super Hornet under the Service Life Modification Program to the Navy. The second SLM jet will be delivered by the end of the month, and Boeing will deliver the third F-A-18 in April. The initial Super Hornets delivered from SLM will extend the service life from 6,000 to 7,500 flight hours. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. On Tuesday, Tuskegee Airman Colonel Charles McGee became a Brigadier General just a few weeks after celebrating his 100th birthday. 
McGee earned his wings as one of the Tuskegee Airmen on June 30th of 1943. His military career spanned across three decades, and he flew 409 combat missions during World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. While serving, McGee was presented with the Distinguished Flying Cross, Legion of Merit, Bronze Star, Air Medal, and the Presidential Unit Citation. He retired in 1973 and in 2007 was presented the Congressional Gold Medal by former President George W. Bush and was placed into the National Aviation Hall of Fame in 2011. The evening after he was promoted, McGee attended the State of the Union as a guest and was recognized by President Donald Trump. B-29 Doc, one of only two remaining B-29 Super Fortresses still flying today, will participate in the 2020 Arsenal of Democracy flyover in Washington, D.C. on May 7th through the 8th. The event commemorates the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II and will include more than 20 different types of vintage military aircraft. An estimated 100 World War II era aircraft will fly in sequenced warward formations representing the war's major battles. DOC will be stationed at the Manassas Regional Airport and activities around the event will begin Wednesday, May 6th and continue through Saturday, May 8th. The World War II Victory Commemoration Flyover is scheduled for Friday, May 8th. B-29 DOC flight experience rides will also be available while DOC is stationed at Manassas Regional Airport Saturday, May 9th and Sunday, May 10th. And that wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. To stay up to date on the latest aviation aerospace news this weekend, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a wonderful week and I'll see you Monday. Thank you.